覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and today I am bringing you two fireflies. A tell two fireflies, I should say. We have the classified OG Cobra Island uh, classified firefly and the regular retro firefly. So, um, you might have seen the reviews. I'm just doing a quick battle because I like both of these guys. Um... Let's get into it. So you can tell straight off the bat, they have different looks. The face over here, it's much more gritty. And uh, I got like a lot of dust on there. Let's pull that off. You can tell I've not used this guy or moved him in a long time. So he looks a little bit better now. You can see the dust particles in the, in the air. And then we have the new guy who is known as Lucy Goosey. Um, apparently a lot of people are getting loose figures. Mine's not so bad. I guess the torso is a little bit loose, but... Not floppy like other people are saying, so maybe I got lucky. I guess that's kind of floppy, but I don't know. Anyway, um, accessories. Uh, let's look. This guy can hold all of his accessories on. He has a little uh, visor that go on his, goes on his eyes if you want to do that. He also has this little uh, drone, which I still to this day love. I'm not sure why he got so much hate when he first came out. But uh, this figure to me, when it first came out, was awesome. Uh, I guess just being a military guy, and I'm doing this video on Veterans Day as a fellow uh, prior soldier, a vet myself. Um, but this guy, I mean, I don't, this makes sense. He deals with explosives, so why wouldn't he have even more uh, protection to kind of help him out? Uh, I don't mind his data pad as well. The, the dynamite on the back having a, sto a spot to be stored too just took the cake. I love this figure. Um, don't know, again, don't know why I got so much flack. Uh, I know the vest impeded a lot of things, but visually, it was very appealing. Now back to this guy, visually. He's also appealing, okay? His face is not as rough around the edges as the other guy, other Firefly. His guns are quite a bit different. There's a silencer you can add to this. As well as a knife to sh to shink or not shink to put in his uh, holder on his hand. He's also got this radio control car that does come off. So again, kudos to you having a drone and not a radio control car that you can put on. And what I really really like that I took off because I wanted to make sure you guys could see was this uh, th these goggles. Okay, because this is a really nice job. It reminds me of. Um, what was that show called? Sh something Filter? Snake Filter? I don't remember what it was called, but some game back in the day. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. And you were doing like some night op stuff and trying to stay in the shadow. Very much like Metal Gear Solid. So, this guy gives me vibes of that. He has a pistol that does come out in this holster. Uh, everything else is kind of just there just for uh, looks. But that's his main accessories, except for two more things. And these are his little mines. I wish there was a spot to store these things because everything else stores on here. I just could not figure out where you could put the mines. So I don't think there is. Let's take this off real quick. Yeah, there's not a spot to put the mines, unfortunately. But everything else is covered. So, yeah. So visually, I think they're a dead tie to me. Um, articulation in the same body, except for this guy has a vest that impedes his ability to crunch. However, some people are reporting issues with crunching their guy because he's, he's more loose. This guy was definitely not loose. Um, so I almost have to say articulation wise, I'm, I almost want to say a tie. Just if, if you have a loose version, uh, and this one's not loosey goosey, uh, accessories wise, they all pretty much, they have, Pretty much very comparable accessories, except this guy just edges them out. Because if you have the backpack, the data pad, a weapon, he still has a knife. And he still has a silencer with his gun. This one does not have a silencer. Uh, he has the goggles. He has the goggles. But he has two mines in addition to all you see. So I'm going to give the edge for accessories slightly to the Retro Flyer 5. Even though some of these accessories here are bigger. So... 
Um, I honestly can't choose. I think if you ha if I were the average person, I would get both. Although this one's really old, I would keep both. Um, and the reason is, you could name this guy uh, Fire Dad or something, you know? Fire Mosquito. Something. Fire Horsefly, all right? Because why couldn't these guys be either the same person, just different looks, or how about this is his father, the OG, right? Either way, I think they're both great figures. I'm very happy. These are two of my favorite in the whole Cobra uh, collection. So don't miss out. Either one is fine. I, If I had to toss a coin and say which one's my favorite, I would give it to this guy just barely because he has just a slightly few more accessories that just really does it for me, okay? But that's it. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace and chicken grease. If you are still here, just know I found out that this guy has storage on his backpack with mine. So yes, he can store everything on his person. However, this seems dangerous as hell. I guess no less dangerous than having, you know, that right there for everyone to see. But thought I noticed that. Classified is just killing it. Thanks again. Peace.